It is election day in Virginia and the polls are open. The three top candidates for governor of Virginia join us this morning, beginning with Republican candidate Ken Cuccinelli. Mr. Cuccinelli, good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us this morning. First of all, have you voted and who did you vote for? <laughs> I am about to head out to vote and um, I have decided to vote for me. So <laughs> Why? <laughs> and I hope, I hope everybody else watching will as well. We, uh, we're 12 hours away from the close of the polls, and uh, it's been obviously an exciting close to the race. A lot of discussion about Obamacare. I'm the only candidate who's actually put forward a plan to grow the economy. And we've suffered through an awful lot of negative advertising from my opponent. I'm the only candidate who's actually put his positive plans in television ads and contrasted positions. My opponent has only attacked me and lied about me. And uh, I hope people see through that today, and we'll find out in 12 hours. Mr. Cuccinelli, the Obamacare is the law. The Affordable Care Act has been law for three years now. If you're elected governor, will you continue to resist it and not implement it here in Virginia? Well, I don't think you fully understand what you're talking about there. Ouch. Um, the, next, the next big decision in Obamacare is in the state. And it's a state decision, not a federal decision whether or not to expand Medicaid under Obamacare. Uh, my opponent is all in for expanding Obamacare. He didn't think it went far enough. And I oppose the expansion of Obamacare. So it isn't a question of resisting a law that's on the books. Uh, it is a question of how far are we going to go to implement it. And I believe it's such a disaster already that it doesn't make any sense to expand failure. But my opponent is determined to do it, and I oppose doing that. I think these insurance cancellations everyone they've been getting for the last month we've lost more people from their insurance than they've gotten insurance since Obamacare went into place should tell us that this is not a good path for Virginia. Well Mr. Cuccinelli the national GOP is building the Virginia gubernatorial race as a referendum on the Affordable Care Act. Is it? Uh, it certainly is in large part and, and you know this began being implemented October 1st by the middle of the month people began to realize how much damage it was doing in terms of people losing their insurance, as I said, more people have lost their insurance since Obamacare went into effect October 1st than have gotten insurance uh, under Obamacare. And uh, that is not the direction we want to go. And the folks who are getting those cancellation notices, they're getting offered other policies, but they're 50 percent more expensive. They're twice as expensive. This is the Unaffordable Care Act, not the Affordable Care Act. And so, yes, because of the implications for ordinary Virginians, and over the course of the next year, 2 million Virginians can expect to get these cancellation notices. And that's according to the president's own numbers, not ours. Mr. Cuccinelli, they one finally, more... They finally admitted this. And, uh, you know, despite the fact that they told us all along, if you like your insurance, you can keep it, that was not true. And they knew it wasn't true. And so now people are learning that in their mailboxes as they get their cancellation notes. Well, we are unfortunately out of time. Ken Cuccinelli, Republican candidate for governor, thank Good you very much for you your time. This morning. Beg pardon? Good to be with you this morning. Have a great day. Thank you.